So I filmed this video yesterday, but then I realized that I can't use any of the footage that I recorded yesterday due to technical issues, and so we're back here again. Let's pretend this is the first time I'm talking about these products today. New K-Beauty brand alert. This is Numbazin's sister line, Flaskin. Fix this promiscuous outfit you have on. And we are going to try their brand launches products today. If you are also curious about this new brand, stay right here. Ah, her. Teddy Bear Ray is back, roar. You know, I love this teddy bear material, but I feel like it tracks so much dust. Welcome back to my channel, and if you are new, welcome, welcome. My name is Ray, and if you don't know who I am, that's okay, because you can find out more about me here on all social media platforms. You can't click this button, but you can find me on social media if you just search this name. Yeah. My skin type is oily, sensitive, reactive, dehydrated, and sometimes, depending on the season, it can also be combination. So here's the deal. Numbazin's PR team reached out to me earlier this year and told me that they are gearing up to launch a brand new line, brand new products, different from Numbazin. So I was like, okay, cool. Send me the products. I want to try them out. And so they did. They also gave me this little pamphlet, which I feel like Numbazin also does a lot. And this pamphlet tells you everything you need to know about the brand Flaskin and also what their goal is and in this case their brand launch really focuses on protein ingredients things like soybeans rice soy milk anything with soy basically it says here about the brand so the brand name flaskin is a combination of the word flask the symbol for research and the word skin which reflects their desire to create research-based skincare products for all skin types. A little bit of housekeeping does not hurt anyone. On this channel, I review skincare products so that you can shop with confidence. Everything I say in this video comes from my personal experiences. One last thing I want to mention, and I said this earlier when I started recording, but trying to get this video done has been a roller coaster ride. First of all, I opened these two products well in advance because I wanted to shoot the B-rolls that you will see in this video. So I already have an understanding of what to expect when it comes to these two products. But when I was trying to film this video yesterday, I actually opened this trial set already. So I already know exactly what to expect here as well. So this episode of Try K Beauty With Me is partially my first impression with a lot of understanding of what to expect of these products. With that being said, and this is like my second time saying this for this video, let's go. Urikata. I don't know how much I want to talk about in terms of the Flaskin Essential Protein Discovery Set because two of these products I already have here and they are the toner and the lotion so I can only really talk about the essence and the cream and there's not much to talk about because it's so tiny so I don't really know how I want to format or even structure this video anymore. This is so cute. Oh my god look at them. So the Soybean Bouncy Protein Essence. I actually wanted to try this one in the full size because I feel like this one might be my favorite product just because of how similar it is to the Mixsoon Bean Essence. Both of them are made of soybeans, so it makes sense that they have the stringy consistency. And I think you guys can see this on camera right now, right? Yeah, this one is very similar to Mixsoon. I feel like this one might be a little bit lighter in formulation. Mixsoon's is a little bit thicker. They are very similar in terms of the texture. I feel like maybe the viscosity here is a little bit thinner. Um, is it thinner? Viscosity? Lighter? Mixsoon's is definitely a little bit thicker, so if you want something that's thicker, go for Mixsoon. If you want something that's lighter, go for this essence by Flaskin. Then we have the Oatmeal Barrier Protein Cream. This one is the moisturizer, and I think they have two moisturizers in this product launch, which is the lotion, which I'll talk about in a minute, and the cream. The cream is much thicker, no fragrance, but it has like that silicone-y smell. Silicone-y? Silicone-y? It is very dense and very thick. It's almost like an ointment. Wow, it is super opaque. Definitely a cream cream, not a gel cream, or even like an oily cream. This one is super pasty and thick. Wow. It almost feels and looks like a sunscreen. The way it glides on your skin, it 
feels like the sunscreen. It feels like the physical type of sunscreen, the mineral UV filters. It feels like that, but it's not a sunscreen, which is weird because I feel like if I didn't read the jar, like the name of this product, I would easily think that this is a sunscreen. I have used products with silicone in it, and usually the silicone smell does not linger that long, or it's not even as obvious, but in this moisturizer, it is so obvious that there's silicone in this. I don't even know if there is. Let me check. Do they have ingredients list somewhere? They don't. Well, I guess I'll put it on the screen if there is silicone or not. It sure as hell smells like silicone. Okay, let's move on to the rice enzyme protein toner. This is a huge bottle, guys. 250 milliliters. The packaging is very minimalistic, and I feel like this can be said about all Flaskin's products. It has a twist-off cap here. It is the best way to package toner. Toners are so watery in terms of consistency that any other packaging would would easily cause the liquid to leak out of the bottle. And I feel like twist caps, unfortunately, is not as convenient. It's the best solution we have so far. The bottle itself is very standard, pretty tall, slender. The finish of the bottle is matte, but it's not opaque. You can actually see how much product you have left. In other words, it's a translucent type of bottle. Does this have fragrance though? No fragrance. Let's take a look at how the texture looks like. It is very milky. Milky, watery. This actually reminds me of the texture and consistency of Dr. Syracle's cream essence and also Marie May's cream essence. You know how like those cream essences were super popular last year because you can see the cream and the essence separate in the bottle? I don't know if that's a gimmick or not. I feel like that's just the nature of the ingredients, but the idea of making a product that is both cream and essence is definitely very gimmicky to me, but I get why they do that because I feel like it's a great way to incorporate almost two steps into one and as long as the product is actually hydrating or providing some type of moisturizing component I'm all for it all right so this toner is it's pretty sticky yeah it's definitely on the stickier side it is so hydrating my skin feels so supple right now I feel like combination dry skin even dehydrated skin types might like this toner those of you who use makeup I feel like you will like this toner because of how sticky it is sticky products or sticky finishes tend to help makeup grip on your skin much better. So earlier I mentioned that this toner comes in 250 milliliters, which is great for toners. You want to have higher volume because toners tend to get used up much faster than any other products. I don't know what about it makes it deplete so quickly, and I'm guessing it's because we use toners every day. Sometimes if you layer toners, that also causes your product to go away quicker. So toners with higher volumes to me is a blessing, but at the same time, this toner cost $30. Flaskin, what are you talking about? What do you mean $30? To me, a good toner shouldn't cost more than $15. I've seen $12 toners that I still use, that I love. So $30 for a toner, despite the large size and the large amounts, I feel like it's still a little bit too steep. Overall, I really like the nourishing quality and the consistency of this toner. The milky texture is just easily one of my favorite types of toners. I love watery toners, but I also really like the milky toner. Owners. It's very gentle and I haven't noticed any red flags in terms of ingredients on the ingredients list. I feel like this toner aims to target the hydration issues in our skin. So if your skin is super dehydrated, very flaky, definitely give this toner a try if you have the budget for it. Again, $30 is very steep. Aside from the very sticky feeling and I still feel it on my skin, I can see myself enjoying this toner especially during the drier months of the year. In other words, winter and the fall season. Seasons. First impressions rating, I would say maybe a B plus. Definitely above average in terms of the quality of the ingredients and the formulation. And you can actually tell Flaskin really put a lot of effort into making this product. Who knows, maybe if I keep using this toner, it would end up becoming an A minus or an A. But for now, in my first week of trying this, it's a B plus. Moving on to the last product of this video, and it is the Soy Milk Relief protein lotion. So this one comes in 150 milliliters, 100 milliliters less than the toner, which is understandable. Usually moisturizers like this don't come in a high volume. 150 is actually more than the average in the market. Again, also very minimalistic packaging. What I do like about this product, and I'm just going to be very honest right now, is the pump bottle. I cannot stand having to dig my fingers into lotions or moisturizers. It's not hygienic, and I feel like pump bottles are honestly 
honestly the best way to go. However, I do understand why brands opt out of the pump bottles for most of their moisturizers unless their moisturizers are a very watery type of consistency or very liquidy consistency. How many times can I say consistency in one shot? I, mm. I also want to mention the quality of the pump bottle itself, especially the high quality lockable pump. Here's a quick little ASMR. Did you like that? The bottle itself is so much more opaque and I don't know why they did it, but it's super opaque. Same matte finish though as the toner, but it is so opaque. You can't see how much product you have left in here compared to the toner where you can. Let's open this up to see if there is any fragrance in here. No fragrance, but similar to the moisturizer earlier, this one also has a very obvious silicone smell, which I'm not happy about. Why? Why does it smell like that? Oh, that's so disappointing. Okay. Move Moving on to the texture of this lotion, which I'm really excited for because when I first tried this while I was shooting the B-roll, I was like, okay, this is definitely not a game changer, but it is definitely something where we should all keep an eye out for because not many lotions I feel like right now have this consistency and I really, really like this. Pump is so good. So the lotion itself is more on the soft cream, almost like a liquid cream consistency. I would actually classify this as like a low to medium viscosity. It is super lightweight. Oh, it's already melting into my skin. You know how like sometimes the moisturizer melts into your skin or gets absorbed very quickly and then you don't see it anymore? This one is different. Like it goes into your skin. It's so obvious that it's going into my skin right now because I can feel the cooling sensation, the calming sensation, and also the moisturization especially but it doesn't leave the surface of my skin feeling dry or like I don't have anything on it which is I feel like okay to be fair a lot of people don't like feeling skincare on their skin after they put it on and then there are people who want to know that skincare is on their skin because they just like it right I am kind of in between like if I feel moisturizer on my face then okay that's fine but if it's very greasy very thick that's when I'm like okay hold on back it up a little bit this one I feel like is right at that sweet spot. It is right in the middle, feels so good, and once it goes into my skin, I have like that little bit of a, of a dewy finish, but it's not greasy, you know? I feel like if your skin is just flaky or dry, then yeah, you can definitely go for this lotion, but I feel like if your skin is super dehydrated, which causes you to be either oily or flaky slash dry, then I would go for the cream from earlier because I feel like the cream is definitely a lot more occlusive. This lotion is great, but I feel like it's not going to do the job that you need it to do in terms of locking everything in. But in terms of delivering the skincare into my skin, I feel like the lotion does a better job. I feel like my skin appreciates the lotion a lot more than the cream from earlier. The cream is just way too thick. It is borderline pasty, feels like it's some type of cooking ingredients, if that makes any sense, which I'm not a fan of. And oatmeal tend to have thicker viscosity, but I'm just not a fan of that viscosity and thickness. And I know a lot of you guys live in areas that are very humid based on the comments I've been seeing. So if you live in humid areas, the lotion is definitely a better bet for you because it's so much lighter. I feel like the key is the lightweightness of the lotion. And I think it's also because it helps you balance the oil and water level in your skin. And I think that's why I personally really like it because New York City is actually very humid. Believe it or not, I feel like a lot of people don't know that, okay? The past three years, New York City has been super humid. Like when did that happen? It, it's part of our lives now. And so humidity has been a huge factor in terms of what type of products I've been using. I don't go for the super thick creams anymore. I opt for the lighter lotions or the gel lotions or the watery gel creams. So rounding up this lotion, I feel like overall the impression it gave me is really good. I love that it comes in 150 milliliters and again it is way more than the average volume you get for moisturizers nowadays. I think I can actually replace my thicker moisturizers with this lotion in the summertime and I'm really happy and excited to do that. The texture feels so nice. One of the best lotion textures I've ever experienced in the last three years. And you know that new lotion that Hamish recently launched? That is basically a dupe of Cicely Paris's moisturizer. That lotion and this one is so similar. Honestly, you know what? Maybe I should do a video comparing those two because come to think of it, both this one and that Hamish lotion have almost the exact identical viscosity and I feel 
like I need to look into it. You know what? I will look into it. Stay tuned for that comparison video. This product I feel like is definitely the epitome of what flat skin stands for. I mean, same as the toner, but I feel like this one I like a little bit more because of how beautiful the texture is. If flat skin is aiming to produce products that are just really good in formulation and ingredients, they did their job well with this product. In other words, to me, I feel like this lotion is exactly what they mean by no gimmicks. It does the job that it's meant to do and sometimes that's exactly all I want from skincare brands. Stop giving me crazy fragrances. I don't care about the crazy packaging anymore. Just give us simple ingredients, simple products, things that work and that's all we want, okay? That's all we want. First impressions rating, A minus. If it weren't for that silicone smell on top of that sticky feeling, it would be an A. So for now, it's an A minus. I love, love, love trying new skincare products on this channel and thanks to your viewership, I get to continue making content for this series. If you want to try Flaskin's debut products, you should definitely go check out their discovery sets so that you're not paying a lot of money for products that you might not even like. And again, Flaskin really blew me away with their ingredients, their research, their formulations. And I really hope that more brands will follow Flaskin's leadership in terms of this aspect of skincare. Thank you Park Jun Yong Nim from Numbazin and Flaskin for sending over these products for me to try. Kamsamnida! As usual, I will leave these products links in the down bar below for you to check out in case you guys are interested. Please help this channel grow by subscribing and sharing this video with your friends and family. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. But until then, be safe, stay hydrated, and most importantly, be gentle with yourself. I mean it. I really mean it. Annyeong, come back for more to say you, to say you, to say you, to say you. Mm -hmm.